Hey, what's up, Fight Family? This is Contemplate Boxing. I want to contemplate about the recently announced Conor Ben versus Chris Algieri bout. Of course, uh, Conor Ben was recently announced that on December 11th in Liverpool, he will be facing former WBO 140-pound champion Chris Algieri. Now, I believe the last time that we saw Conor Ben in the ring was this past September, whenever he won a unanimous decision victory against Adrian Granados. Uh, for Algeria's part, I believe the last time we saw Algeria was in August, whenever he defeated uh, Mikel Le Pierre. Now, Conor Ben, he is currently ranked in three out of the four major sanctioning bodies. He's number nine in the WBA, number seven in the WBC, and also number seven in the IBF. I don't believe he's currently ranked in the WBO. Now, uh, Nigel, or rather Conor Ben, Conor Ben has been quoted on a number of occasions stating that he wants to fight the elite of the 147-pound division. He has, in fact, mentioned a in, uh, specific individual, Sean Porter. Now, the issue with this is that while he has mentioned Sean Porter, there have been times when in the same interview or in the same breath, he's also mentioned names such as Amir Khan as well as Adrian Broner. Now, because of him mentioning names like Porter, but then coming around and mentioning individuals like Amir Khan and also Adrian Brony, uh, sorry, Adrian Broner, there are a lot of fans that do wonder how serious Conor Ben is to fight the elite of the division because it has been some time since Amir Khan and Adrian Broner have been considered the elite of their division. Uh, in a previous statement by Sean Porter himself, I believe in one of the Porter Way podcast episodes, he had actually addressed Conor Ben's call out of him. And he actually did, in so many words, mention this particular fact that since he did call him out specifically, but then followed up with names like Khan and then Broner, he did question whether or not Ben truly did have an intention to actually try to fight Porter or to fight any of the other top elite of the division. Not only this, but whenever we look at uh, some of the previous opponents of Conor Ben, while Conor Ben is ranked in three of the four of the sanctioning bodies, his previous opponents have not been, uh, to include Chris Algieri. Uh, Algieri, Adrian Granados, Samuel Vargas, uh, none of these three individuals are currently ranked in any of the sanctioning bodies. Um, or at least I believe that Vargas and Granados have not been ranked at the times that he fought them. Uh, somebody can correct me on that if I'm wrong. But noticing things like that, there are a number of fans and critics, as well as some fighters such as Sean Porter, that do question whether or not Conor Ben is really willing at this time to actually face the top elite of his division, as talented as he, show, as he may be. Now, with that said, there also is an interview out there uh, of Eddie Hearn in which he's speaking on Conor Ben and probably stating how soon it may be that Conor Ben will actually face the elite of his division. In uh, one of the other YouTube channels, I believe it's Slothbox, shout out to Slothbox, they do have an interview in which Eddie Hearn is stating the following, that as talented as Conor Ben is, uh, he did express his own belief that Conor Ben is not ready to face an elite welterweight. Uh, he did go on to say that his list of upcoming elite Walter Waits included the likes of Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz Jr., but that Ben himself was not ready for those fighters. So with that said, while Ben has expressed a desire to face the elite, and as much as we may want to see Conor Ben face the elite, uh, his most recent opponent selection, as well as the words from Eddie Hearn, do indicate that at least at this particular time, at this moment in Conor Ben's career, uh, the moment in which he faces the elite fighters may be a little bit off. And I think that's understandable for where he's at currently in his career. Um, I think 
that Conor Ben currently is only 19 fights in or maybe a little bit less of his career. He doesn't have the uh, amateur pedigree that a lot of the upcoming welterweights like Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz Jr. have. Uh, he doesn't have the amateur experience or amateur pedigree that many of the current crop of welterweights, Sean Porter, um, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, your Dennis Ugas, Errol Spence, he doesn't have the amateur pedigree that a lot of them have. So currently, Conor Ben's not going to get fast tracked. You know, he's not going to get fast tracked into these bigger fights just yet, as much as individuals and as much as I would actually like to see that. Um, currently, for where he's at and also uh, his opponent's selection, it indicates that he's still in a developmental period. And he may be in that develop developmental period for the next year or, you know, perhaps more, depending on how he looks in 2022. But anyhow, Fight Family, these are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Please hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, peace. God bless.